What's up, Lions fans? Um, today's talk topic, obviously, is a Lions pick last night. Um, a Frank Ragnall from Arkansas. Um, I'm going to, you know, further elaborate on that, but at the same time, I want to talk about the possible picks that we can go with in the second round. Uh, first and foremost, a lot of people are starting to come to their senses about the pick. At first, they didn't like it because they didn't know the guy. Um, but after doing research, digging in them stats, watching film sessions, um, and really getting to know who this guy is, it turns out that it was actually the perfect pick for the Lions because, I mean, as you all know, we lost Swanson. We needed a solid center, and we needed to solidify uh, the offensive line for the guy that we just went all in and paid that money to, uh, meaning number nine, Matthew Stafford. Um, it would make no sense for us to get a running back and you don't do the first part first, which is solidify the offensive line. I don't care who you are. Um, I don't know how many times I, I keep saying it, but if you don't have a, a solid offensive line, you ain't running a football. I'm sorry. Uh, you want to know why Ezekiel Elliott was so good on top of his, t his talent? Is because, man, he had like 40, four, four to five yards in front of him before he even had to shake and make a move. You know, the, the Cowboys, Dak Prescott and, and Ezekiel Elliott was so successful because of that offensive line. Um, and everybody knows it. It is not no big secret. You have to solidify those trenches, man, on both sides of the ball. But most importantly for the Lions, um, our running game was the worst. You know, um, and our quarterback, I mean, come on, dude. Sack 48 times, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, it was the the perfect move for us. You, you're you not going to solidify the offensive line in the later rounds taking alignment. Uh, some people felt like he would have been there in the second round. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, I told you last night that Seattle and the Patriots were both trying to get this guy. Um and those are the only two that's known that that was known as trying to get him within those uh, next four to five picks. Um, obviously, the Patriots invest everything in Tom Brady to protect him, um, and obviously, it's been paying dividends. You remember when Dallas went ahead and got two two offensive linemen, and look what happened with them. You know, uh, they was pretty much in every game. <laughs> so, um, you know, with that being said. You know, solid pick, man. Very, very solid pick. You guys need to do your research for the ones who haven't done their research. Um, you know, a lot of people keep throwing names out who they could have gotten, this, this, and that. You know what? Bob Quinn is serious. He is very serious about uh, building the structure the right way. Uh, not just going out and grabbing a bunch of names. He want to make sure that he get the right position, the right player. Now, this player pretty much is everything that you want in the offensive lineman, dude. He, I mean, as far as weakness go, you find me a weakness in this guy, and then you you, you come back in the comments and let me know what his weakness is. He's good at the run, uh, to block and run. He's great at pass blocking. I told you this guy never gave up a, a sack in his entire uh, collegiate career, so, I mean, I don't know what else you want. I mean, you want to complain about your quarterback for the Matthew Haff, uh, Stafford haters, and then when we try to solidify and get him an offensive line for the, you know, that's a solid offensive line for the first time in his career, you want to complain about it. I don't understand it. Um, people want to complain about Amir Abdullah and them, and, you know, they can't run the ball. Well, obviously, uh, there's not one hole open uh, nowhere on the offensive line, so I don't know what you expect these dudes to do. Um, so the Lions definitely went ahead and, and took care of business and made the right and the smart, correct move. Um, on a second note, will they take a running back with the second round pick? That is not a, a sure answer. Um, they probably still wouldn't um, because, like I said, obviously they know that the running game suffered because of the offensive line, um, no matter what people think or not. Um so it's no guarantee that they're going to take a running back. They may go defense. They might go defensive line. So, um, you know, deep defensive end, D tackle, one or the other in the second round, 
or still possibly a running back. Who would I like them to take at running back? If available, I actually like uh, I like Freeman. I like uh, I like Ronald Jones. I like Chubb, of course. Uh, if if one of those guys is there, I'm fine with that. Take one of those dudes. Um, you know, but the thing with with Harold Landry, a lot of people want to Harold Landry. Well, Harold Landry, uh, you know, reports came out on him about his knee and his back. So that's why he slipped up the first round the way he did. There's questions about his knees and his back. So uh, that's what's going on with him. Why guys slip? Obviously, because people, um, you know, just, I guess, wasn't interested. They, you know, the Patriots went ahead and took uh, uh, took the other Georgia Bulldog running back. And, and you know, uh, Rashad Penny got picked up by, by the Seahawks. So... You know, they, that's before guys, so I don't know what's really going on with that situation. Um, but will he still be there? Who knows? If he is still there, will they take him? Who knows? Uh, those is the questions that's out there, man. It's a lot of stories out there, so uh, we'll definitely see what happened tonight, 7 p.m., uh, beginning of the second round, uh, and have an opportunity to see where the Lions is going from here. I actually like the direction they're going. They're playing it smart. They're making the right and the safe picks. You got to solidify number nine. It's all about you know, the number one guy on your team, Matthew Stafford, you got to protect this man. If you give Matthew, Matthew Stafford the type of protection that Dak Prescott had, can you imagine what type of quarterback he would be? Uh, because, you know, the the, the the truth is out about Dak, Dak uh, Prescott. You know, he's not what they was making him seem. It was all that offensive line. So, um, you know, we'll see what happened. But that's just a quick chat for y'all, man. Um, let me know who you think the Lions take in the second round, man. And um, if you did any research on the first round pick, then let me know what you think about this young man. This young man is an absolute beast, man. And I'm definitely looking forward to see what we can do this year in the run game and in the pass blocking game. Uh, but that's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all after the draft. I currently can't live stream right now. I took a strike on my account. Uh, for live streaming for you for you guys uh, but I will be on Periscope so if you have a Twitter account go download the Periscope app and find me on there everything King on Periscope um, and or you can just go to Twitter and hit the link once I start the Periscope because it's going to post to Twitter so uh, that's how I will be watching uh, live with you know the subscribers so uh, with that being said, I appreciate everybody for watching the videos. Uh, shout out to There Goes Mobby. Uh, great breakdown video uh, last night, man. I enjoy watching that. Shout out to Man Beast Morris for uh, having us all on the Hangouts, man. I really had fun doing that. Uh, he currently got to work tonight, so I don't think he'll be doing one. But uh, shout out to him as well and everybody that uh, participated. It's your boy King. I'm out.